Hey everyone, welcome back to White Sparrow Living, Luke 12, 6. I'm Wendy, and in today's episode, we're doing some organizing and a mini makeover for my little sister Misty's first grade classroom, thanks to Cricut, who's sponsoring this video. So not only did they gift her with a brand new Cricut Explore Air 3 and all the fixins, which she donated to the school so that all of the teachers could use it, but they're also blessing one of you out there with a brand new Explore Air 3. So stay tuned to find out how you can be entered at the end of this video. I'm totally having a hot flash right now. Whew. Also, I know this is a really long intro, but as some of you may know, Michael J and I both had COVID earlier this month. And we really wanted to thank everyone from the bottom of our hearts to the very tippy top for all of your prayers, your perky prizes, your kind messages, and sweet love. It's hard to even express how much it has meant to us and how blessed we are to have you all as part of our family. So thank you and I love you all. And now, without further ado, let's get started. So at the beginning of each year, this is what my sister walks into. She has to move her goodies to the counters so that the cleaning crew can come in and sanitize everything, shampoo the carpets, and then she has to put it all back to where she wants it. And we had some sweet helpers with us. This is my niece, Karis, and then my daughter, Christine, who pretty much helps me with everything. Now this school opened in 1980, so it's 40 years old and not super modern or pretty. But my sister, and well, all of the teachers for that matter, do what they can to make it a fun learning environment for their students. But it's basically just a rectangular room. So we're going to try to give it some more cuteness and help her with some more updated organization. And we're going to be using our Cricut Explore Air 2 and some other fun Cricut materials and supplies. So each class has a theme that the teachers choose. And one thing you have to know about my beautiful sister, Misty, is that she loves her hard rock music. So her class is called Mrs. Lindsay's Rock Stars. And as you can see, she and Christine have their band shirts on, so they are ready to rock. <laughs> So she's already got a color theme that she's been using over the years. So we're just going to save a little money by working with that same palette of black and white zebra stripes, some lime green, hot pinks, and all around pretty loud and bright neon colors that go with the hard rock theme. And while it's not exactly my favorite color combo, it is pretty fun and her first graders always love it and she's the cool teacher on campus. <laughs> As you can see, we were definitely having a great time, and this was all before we got sick, but it was a lot of work and took us about three days to get everything set up in this new floor plan and to organize and do all of the decorating. So when you walk in the front door, there's a corner that I thought we could use as a little reading nook, and it isn't really functional right now. It just has a bulletin board and a cramped computer area. And then of course the ever popular acoustic drop ceilings. So we're gonna take almost everything down. And then we moved my sister's desk to the front corner. And I'm also gonna try to incorporate this super high tech listening center into our design. So I went to Target and got some threshold modular cubes and shelves and I will have all of these listed in the description box below because I think this configuration would be absolutely perfect for a playroom or like if you have a really big great room and want a play area for the littles in a corner, this would be perfect and super cute. You don't have to use these colors obviously, but you'll get the idea of the setup anyway. So my amazing son-in-law Brandon built all of the shelving and Connor is always his little assistant and my sister-in-law Brandy helped too. We really had the whole family pitching in on this one and everyone did such a great job. So this is how we're gonna be setting this up. And as you can see, there's four separate pieces. And we also got this black five by seven room essentials rug from Target to layer under this rainbow colored zebra rug. And these are the bright kind of neon color pops we're gonna be pulling from. And then this faux fur rug is from Walmart and we're gonna be using that as the cushion for the bench. Now right above that bench in between the two taller shelves, I'm using this Hobby Lobby framed calendar. 
and it was regularly $60. We obviously did not pay that, and I don't even think I would even pay $30, but it wasn't being used anymore, so I just sanded the lines down to make it all smooth, and then I'm gonna paint the frame white to match our shelving, and then the background is gonna be completely solid black, and I'll be using chalk paint for all of this. And this also made it to where I could work on it here at home and then take it to the classroom on install day. So I'm using my 24 inch Cricut standard grip mat and two 12 by 12 sheets of silver glitter cardstock that I got from Walmart. And then in my Cricut design space, I've already created and saved my sign. So I'm just gonna bring it to the mat by hitting customize at the bottom and it will bring up your project so you can cut it or continue working on it. And as you can see, I have my individual cuts in the colors that I want so that I can see what it looks like before I actually cut everything out. And I can change those colors to see what it will look like by changing the color box at the very top. So I don't need my black background box any longer, so I'm just gonna hit the little eyeball to the right and then that'll go away and it won't cut. And then once I hit make it, it takes me to the cutting mats which are separated by the different colors I'm using. Now because I'm using two separate sheets of glitter cardstock, I can move those letters around so that I miss that middle part where the two sheets are pieced together. And then I'll choose my base material which is glitter cardstock and then hit make it again and it'll tell me to load my mat and so I'll do that and then I'll hit the arrows on my machine and then once it feeds into the machine it tells you to press the go button and you're off to the races. Now I'm using the Explore Air 2 and it has a dial which I have set on custom but on the new Explore Air 3 there's no longer a dial and you'll set the base material on the program software just like I did here. And then once it's cut out, I can just close my machine up and easily tuck it away. I also have this handy set of Cricut tools. Again, these will all be linked below, but I just love the pretty pastels everything comes in. It's so pretty and I love just having it out in my craft room on a shelf. So I'm gonna be pulling all of my letters up and I wanted to show you here how my Cricut just cut right through the sticker that was on the back of the cardstock and it's not even a new blade, so it really cuts very well. So now I'm just pulling up all of my excess cardstock and then I'll pull all of my letters off to place on my sign. And then for the stars, I'm using some Cricut True Brushed Paper, which looks kind of like metal, so I thought that would be perfect since it comes in the pretty colors from our room. And again, I'll find the exact name of my Cricut base material and click it and go through the same process to cut out those stars. So now I'm gonna apply all of my pieces to my sign using some regular glue. And then I found a cute guitar from my images icon on the design space. And I cut that out using just some regular Cricut white adhesive vinyl. I'll weed that out and then I'll cover the whole piece with some Cricut transfer tape. And I'll use my squeegee to get all of the bubbles out and then pull the backing paper off of it. And then I'll just add some scrap glitter paper in the openings for some more cuteness. And then I placed that diagonally across my sign and pulled off the transfer tape and then squeegee it again. Then I added my stars with some glue dots and it's done. So I'm pretty sure we're all familiar with these three drawer plastic bins and you probably have one or two in your own home, but we're gonna be using three of these for some cute new storage. 
and I'm using some old scrap paper called Rock Out Bro that I had on hand, and that's perfect for this project. And I made a template to use on the front of the drawers, and I cut out the patterns I wanted. And then Dollar Tree carries these glue dots, and I always have these on hand because they come in handy for everything. So I'm gonna place one dot right in the middle on the front side of my paper, and then I'm gonna use some of Cricut's Dry Erase Adhesive Vinyl, and I'll show you how you can make some super quick and easy labels. So I'm going to go to my design space and hit new and then I hit the images icon on the left where you can search 150,000 Cricut images with a subscription but there's also 7011 free ones as well. So I'm searching for labels and I have 4,478 options to choose from. So I choose this one, highlight it and push insert image and it goes on to my design space. And then I can drag the arrow at the bottom and make it larger or smaller, but keeping the same aspect ratio. Or I can unlock it on the bottom left and make it whatever size I want by either dragging the four arrows or I can input the width and height in the size boxes manually at the top. So then because I wanted multiple labels, I'm going to hit duplicate up in the top right and I make 11 more of the same label. And it's really nice because I don't have to move them around and separate them individually because once I hit make it, they'll be laid out automatically in a position that kind of conserves the most vinyl. Isn't that sweet of Cricut? So now I have the 24 inch mat and I'll change that on the drop down menu and they'll transfer to the longer mat. And you can see exactly how much vinyl to place on your mat by the number grid that's on the side. And then press continue, set your base material and off you go. One little hack for your vinyl storage is to pull the paper wrapper off, but keep it intact so you can wrap it back around your roll and it stays snug as a bug in a rug. Then I'm gonna put my paper drawer front on the inside with the glue dot and then place my dry erase label right on top of that in the middle to cover that glue dot. And then we'll be able to write on it with a dry erase marker and you can change it, correct it as many times as you want. If you change out what's inside, you can adjust it so it's super versatile and easy to use. And then you can save all of your projects because it might be nice to pull up these labels anytime you want just to cut them out real quickly. And all you have to do is hit save projects, give it a name, and you can even add it to a collection like Christmas or in this case, Cricut Classroom. And then you can pull it up anytime you want. So now I'm gonna be using four of the Dollar Tree wooden stars and I'm gonna measure the size of them so that I can make them on my mat just to get the right size for my letters that I'm gonna put on top of them. So I'll just hit the shapes icon on the left and choose the star and then make it the size that I need it to be. And then I'll hit the text icon and type an R and then choose what font I want using the drop down box. And once I get it to the right size, I'll duplicate that letter and double click on one of them and change it to the letter that I need. So it's gonna spell out R-E-A-D, but once I change the letters, it'll already be sized to fit on that star. And this didn't end up being the font I ended up using, but then to see how it'll look on my star in lime green, I go to the top color box and change it to green, but it's not as limey as I want it. So if you hit advanced in the color box down at the bottom, you can move the little circle around until you get it to the shade you want, and then you can test out your colors and see if you like them. And then before I hit make it, I'm gonna get rid of my stars and I'll cut my letters out of some black glitter cardstock, the same cardstock that we used in the silver. And then I'm gonna paint my stars lime green and attach my letters on top with some Dollar Tree glue dots. And then I tied some zebra stripe ribbon at the tops and they were done.
So now I'm going to take some Dollar Tree black cardstock and cut out some music notes and some treble clefs and we're going to hang those from the drop ceiling in our reading nook. And then again, using the thousands of image options, I searched for books and cut out some white vinyl to place on top of some more black cardstock, and then cut some black vinyl to place on top of some white cardstock to make some adorable little two-layered books that we'll write titles on and attach to the wall in the reading area. So I have been wanting to show you guys how to use the print and cut option. So I'm gonna search for a teddy bear image and under operation type over on the left, I'm gonna hit print then cut and that will show us only those types of projects. And this is a great option for card making or presentations, school projects, pretty much anything. But once I find the image I want, I'll get it sized to the right size that I need for my little sign. I'll hit make it and you see it's showing on an eight and a half by 11 sheet with a black square around it. And then I'm going to hit print and it's already linked to my printer with the Bluetooth. So it'll just print onto my cardstock and then I'll place it on my cutting mat and feed it into my machine and hit cut. And the box is a registration guide, so once my Cricut reads those lines, it'll then know where to cut, and it'll cut right around my little teddy bear image. And then I just cut some cardstock to make a little sign in those bright colors, and then I measured the area where I'm going to place my purple adhesive vinyl that will say Reading Buddies. And I'll weed that out and apply it onto the top layer over to the right. Now originally I had planned to put my teddy bear on the pink cardstock, but then I decided to have the white on top. So technically I didn't even really need to cut it out, but I really wanted to show you guys this awesome feature. And you can't really tell on camera, but I did use pop dots to apply my teddy bear. So he's kind of popped up and it gives it a little more dimension. So then I added some little eyelets to the top on each corner and a sweet little zebra stripe bow and I'll attach that to a metal basket that we got from Target and fill it with some stuffed animals for our reading area. And then for our sharp and dull pencil storage I took two Dollar Tree buckets and just cut out the words and added brackets around the ends and applied them to the buckets and then tied some Dollar Tree ribbon and some black twall to the handles for some additional cuteness. And then I had this lamp that I originally got from Target a long time ago and I should probably clarify that Target is just my silly fun way of saying Target <laughs> for those of you that don't know. But the shade was in pretty rough shape and so I covered it with some more of that lime green ribbon and black twall and then I clipped on a hot pink mum from the Dollar Tree so it'll match our color scheme. And the cool thing about this lamp is that the bottom base is chalkboard so you can write a message on it anytime you want. And then it was all hands on deck for day one of the actual installation. We ended up spending three full days on the entire project, but we had lots of sweet helpers and they were pretty cute too. Okay. We have Christine, Connor, Cadence, Carson, and of course my adorable Michael J. And here's how serious my sister is about her music. And you can see her license plate says Rockin' Mimi. <laughs> okay, here we are at Orangewood Elementary School. And we have the goodies. And then we have more goodies. We have our help. And then we have Mimi. And then we have the Mimi. And carrots. No, okay. is that our video? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> What's up? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we are. Oh, look at the help! <laughs> Yay! Bringing in the help. 
Cut. <laughs> they get a help. We got lots of help. Wow, Carson. You are so strong. Uh-oh, be careful. Do you need a, do you need a break? I'm trying. I have to do mini. Yeah, let's see. Can we tell which one it is? Um I will uh, probably tell my see. This one? Oh. Which one are you, miss? It goes in order of grade level, so I'm in the second, third. Yeah. <laughs> I totally picked you out first. So we're going to be keeping her Rockstar of the Week board and all of the bulletin board covers and borders because they all match with our color scheme. But we are taking down her sweet class pictures since 1998 and putting those into an album for everyone to enjoy. And then we set up our shelves and cleared all the boards off. And then Michael J and the kids and Christine hung the music notes from the ceiling using some fishing line and paper clips. And I just punched a hole at the top of my treble cliffs and music notes. And then the kids tied the string on and added the paper clip. And then Christine told dad where to hang everything. And then Christine added our reed stars by using some thumbtacks and tapping those in along the top of the bulletin board. And then added our faux fur bench cover. And then we added some cute pillows, layered our rugs, and started styling the shelves, adding some books inside of Dollar Tree locker bins in that lime green color, some other pretties from the Dollar Tree, and just some plants I had around the house. And then we added some plush character dolls that matched up with the books that we were displaying on that certain cube. And I think using the locker bins just made it a lot cleaner instead of having just a lot of books all different shapes and sizes. It just cleans it up a lot and makes it look a lot neater. And I can't wait for you guys to see how cute it turns out in the end. And then to spiff up my sister's desk, I used a roll of white shelf paper and some zebra striped duct tape from Walmart. And I'm gonna wrap that around it. And then I'll add her name and some heart music notes that I cut out using Cricut's black adhesive vinyl. And that gave it a completely new and clean look. So my niece, Karis, spends a lot of time with me in my craft room and she's seen me apply 7011D decals to different projects and she was just chomping at the bit wanting to apply something herself. So I thought this would be a great demonstration to show just how easy it really is to apply a decal to any of your projects. And then I'm going to write a scripture on my lamp to encourage my sister and get some Jesus in the room. But I ended up turning it the other way. So now it's a message to the class and first graders can't read cursive. <laughs> and then once my sister got our storage all figured out, I wrote on all of the labels. And then we made a word wall using the shape icon and then just cut out some circles in different colors from Dollar Tree cardstock. And then I printed out the letter circles from the TPT site. It's a Teachers Pay Teachers. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll have it linked in the description box below. And then I made a perky bow for a sign that she already had. 
and then Karis put together the student supply boxes. And here's how everything turned out. And it was so much fun doing this for my sister who really deserves this little perky prize. She's just such a blessing and does so much for everyone else. She's the most generous and loving person and never asks for anything in return. In fact, none of us even had any idea how much work was involved in getting set up at the beginning of every single year. So we've decided to make this an annual event to support her. But I just love how bright and exciting this room is. And I just wanted to keep looking everywhere. <laughs> of course, my favorite area is the reading nook. And I had forgotten to mention that we got two big bean bags online to go in the space, but they were covering everything up. So I just kind of moved them out of the way. But I just think this would be so perfect for a playroom. And it even made me want to pick up a book and do some reading myself. <laughs> And now for the details on how you can enter to win a Cricut Explore Air 3, you just need to comment with the word Cricut by midnight Eastern Standard Time on Sunday, September 19th, 2021. The winner of the random draw will be notified on September 20th in the comments on my community page, the Sparrow's Nest on Facebook and on Instagram. And the winner will have to contact me within 48 hours or there will be another draw which would absolutely hurt my heart so make sure you're checking on the 20th i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some organization and style ideas along the way and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that really helps to grow our channel make sure to comment with the word cricket again thank you to cricket for sponsoring this video and being so generous and supporting our amazing teachers I hope everyone has a blessed day and remember to always be the light. Bye!